This is Alex Yu and you're watching the Rage and Rona Review, Transformers 3 Edition. I don't really have any news for you at all. What's going to happen is that from this point on, we're going to see nothing but TV spots and clips, interviews, any type of official marketing material that is really going to promote the film. So what I'm going to talk about is fans of Transformers are divided into two categories. Fans and haters. And specifically haters of the Michael Bay movie. I am obviously a fan, so are a lot of you guys. But once in a while, somehow you get into some discussion with some random guy or someone you know that doesn't like the Michael Bay version. For example, I'll, we'll talk about, hey, uh, what, what summer movies are you looking forward to? And then I'll tell them Transformers 3. And then they'll say, oh man, that Michael Bay is, man, that movie's gonna bomb. Or they'll say, I would rather kill myself than watch another Transformers movie or you know like things like that obviously this person's a hater so my question is how do you deal with that because I've experienced that tons of times every so often I end up talking to someone who absolutely hates the movies so far the way I've dealt with it is that I don't say a whole lot because I'm not about to start a never-ending battle with someone I don't know or someone I do know which absolutely goes nowhere because his opinion will always stand I'm not gonna change that but I can tell him how I feel about it I'm gonna defend it for a little bit once you talk to them enough you already know that this is a stalemate this will I will always hate it so there is only one thing you can do you tell them truths about the movie and these are all facts fact one this movie is gonna do well commercially. It's going to be huge in the box office, possibly be the biggest movie of the year. That's a truth. Fact number two, Michael Bay admitted that the second one was not good. So because of that, he's going to improve the third one. That is a fact. Fact number three, James Cameron approved of this movie. You have the director of Terminator 2, Titanic, True Lies, and Aliens giving the stamp of approval on this movie. So whatever hater you were talking to cannot disagree with you. He's gonna say something stupid, but at the end of the day, he cannot come back at you with anything, except for he'll may say something that's totally petty, like, oh, the twins were so stupid, or Megan Fox can't act, and but that has nothing to do with these truths. The fact is that the biggest thing that haters need to realize is that making movies is a business. We are giving our money to the studios for making this movie. And with a worldwide box off result of possibly 1 billion, that just shows that a lot of people watch it. And not only did they watch it, but several people watched it more than once. So he cannot argue with that. So him saving $10 to not watch this means nothing compared to the billion dollars that this movie is going to make worldwide. And that's what it all comes down to. Critics do not mean a damn thing. The best critic is yourself and whether you enjoyed it or not. Don't listen to other people's opinions. And that is how I deal with haters. I just tell them the truths about the movie. I don't defend the petty little things that people nitpick about. I defend the bigger picture and that's the movie's gonna make a lot of money. And people will argue that, well, just because a movie makes tons of money doesn't mean it's a good movie. Absolutely true. But at the end of the day, making movies is a business. So the fact that they made money off us, they succeeded. And no amount of negative criticism from critics or moviegovers will bring this movie down. It's just too big of a movie. And another fact is that tons of haters who didn't like the fact that Michael Bay is directing it became fans. And the people who still hate it and ended up watching it, they're in denial. They will stick to their opinion when they're in public, but deep down inside, they know they enjoyed it and they're just lying to themselves. I truly believe that. But of course, they don't want to admit they were wrong, so that's just human nature. You know who you are. So that's how to deal with haters. Tell them truths about the movies and truths that matter because Revenge of the Fallen was not that great of a movie, but it made a lot of money. That's a fact. I'm sure you've been in that situation before where you were in a room with someone who hated the movies, but then sometimes it ends up being a really heated debate. I've gotten into some of those and I'll just rationalize with them, but not for once do I agree with them. I just stay neutral to it so that I don't get too heated up about it because I know what will happen if I get too worked up. It will be just an ongoing waste of my time to talk about it with this guy. I'll never be able to convince this guy about the positive things about the Transformers movies, but the most important fact is that and you tell him this his opinion doesn't matter to you all that matters is that I enjoyed the movie and what you think doesn't matter you tell him that but if they're gonna come back patronizing you saying something like oh so then you like stupid movies and you say to him no I just like to be entertained and I'm sorry you're such a square it sucks to be you oh anyways that's how I deal with haters 
how do you deal with haters? Because the movies will always have haters, just because right at the very beginning, a lot of people thought that Michael Bay would be a controversial choice as a director. I, on the other hand, freaked out in a positive way when I heard that he was directing it, because I'm a fan of all his movies. Anyways, this is Alex Yu. Thanks for watching the Rage and Run review. Peace. Ha, ha, ha.